Welcome to inflation. All right, so on top, a uh, definition of inflation is given. And inflation is basically a general increase in prices. When prices go up, that is inflation. All right, so we are given an example here. Uh, a price of a Chuli Tokogo Cola for two consecutive years is given below. So the price of this 2 liter Coca Cola was 19 rands in 2023. And it was 22 rands 50 in the year 2024. So example one is very easy. How do you calculate inflation? Of course, if you have to calculate inflation, is that we're looking by how much did the Coca-Cola increase? So you would take uh, the 2024 20, price and you would minus the older price, the 2023 price. So the inflation in this example is... Three rands and fifty cents. You can work this out for yourself. Let's look at example two. All right. So in example two, now you have to calculate the inflation rate. All right. Not the inflation anymore, but the inflation rate or the inflation percentage. So how do you calculate the inflation rate? Here's a formula given on the right. You take the new price minus the old price over the old price and you multiply by 100. So let's do this quickly. To calculate the inflation rate, we take the new price, which is the 2024 price, minus the old price, which is the 2023 price, the 19 rands, over the old price again, again, the 2023, and then you multiply by 100. So you will find that the inflation rate is, you can work this out for yourself, if we are round off to two decimal places, it will be 18.42%. All right, so let's look at example three. All right, so in example three, you will notice that the inflation rate is given for two years. So you have to use the given inflation rate to predict the price. Okay, so let's uh, read through example number three. If the price of the television set was 5,600 in 2020, remember 2020 comes before 2021, predict the price of the same television set in 2023. So what will the price be after two years? So from 2020... You must factor in the inflation rate for 2021 and then the inflation rate for 2022. And then you can predict what the price will be in 2023. So there's a very easy method that we can use here. If we take the original price, which is the price uh, in 2020, so it's 5,600. We can open brackets 1, which means the 1 helps us keep the original price. And then we can add the inflation rate for 2021, which is 4,61%. We change that percentage. We just put it over 100. So this is the 2021 uh, inflation bracket. So we are adding the 2021 inflation. Then we also add the 2022 inflation, which is 6.9%. So this bracket is for 2022. So by using these brackets, we can predict. So we were in 2020. We wanted to use the inflation for 2021 and 2022 to predict the price in 2023. You can work this out for yourself also. You will find that the price of this television set will be 6,262 rands and... 37 cents. Please check this for yourself. So by using this bracket, we can always predict a price in the future. So remember, each year should have its own bracket. So look at the next example. The inflation rate again for two consecutive years is given below. So we are given the inflation rate for 2022, 6.6%, .6 and the inflation rate for 2023, 7%. And again, uh, the price of a chocolate slab 
was 16 rand 50 cents in 2021. So again, in 2021, we have the price for 2021. So we need to now predict the price for the same chocolate slab in 2024. So we need to go from 2021. Of course, we need to factor in the inflation for 2022 and the inflation for 2023. So we can predict a price in 2024. Again, we can do this the same way. We'll take the price in 2021, factor in the inflation. Remember, this is the bracket one to keep the original price plus the inflation rate in 2022. We also add to the 2023 bracket, the inflation rate in 2023, 7 uh, percent. So again, this bracket would be for 2022. This one's for 2023. And we can predict the price for 2024. Please work this out uh, for yourself. And you will find that the price of this chocolate slab is 19 rands and 56 cents. All right. So that's the end of the grade 11 part. The last example is only for grade 12s. All right, as a grade 12 learner, you know that you always have to be able to go back uh, in time. So uh, now you're given the price for three consecutive years. You're given inflation rates for three consecutive years. And you are told that the price of white bread is 19 rands in 2024. Notice that you are given a later price, a later year. You're given 2024. And you are asked to predict the price of the same white bread in 2020. So you should actually go from 2024 back all the way to 2020. And of course, you will have to factor the inflation rates for the three years in between. All right. Now, remember again, uh, if we go back to the previous two examples, if we were predicting a price in the future, then we multiply by a bracket for each year. So what we will do now, if we are going back, now we must go back. Uh, we are in 2024 and must go back to 2020. We do the inverse operation of multiplication, which is division. So now we're going to divide by a bracket for each year. So the price in 2024 is 19 rands. Now, because we are going back, now we're going to divide by the bracket. First, we divide by the bracket for 2023, 6%. And then the bracket for 2022, which is 6.9%. And then the inflation rate in 2021 was 4,61%. All right, so notice that we are going back in time, so we've divided. Firstly, by a bracket, 2023 bracket, then we go back to 2022, then we go back to 2021. And if we use this formula, we should be able to predict the price back in 2020. So uh, the price for the water of bread in 2020 should have been 16 rand and three cents. Again, I advise you to check this for yourself. All right, so. Um, this is a very useful way to predict a price either in the future, in which case we would multiply by the bracket for the years in between like we've done in example 3 and in example 4. But if we are predicting a price in the past, we are going back in time. Now we take the current price and then we divide and we have a bracket for each year in between so we can go back in time. So I hope this video was useful. Thank you, Great House.